Okay, so I start with the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I like this primer a lot and it kind of takes me forever because it's getting old and I need to repurchase. I use it mostly on my nose, a little on my forehead. Basically, a lot of the places I highlight because those are also places that tend to be like oily and just have larger pores. Um, like under the nose kind of under the eyes, and then I take the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. I use the shade Porcelain, which is a lightest shade, and it's honestly not that light. It's almost exactly my skin tone, um, but I'm using the concealer first to just carve out the brow. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really awkward recording this voiceover, to be honest. Um, I like to do this first just because I feel like it blends in better because I also go over the top. I usually will actually go in with my ABH dip brow first usually and actually color my brows before I go in with the concealer, but the camera was recording so I got nervous and messed up. <laughs> um, I just kind of did that. See, here we go with the ABH dip brow. I'm using soft brown. Um, I like that one a lot. I've actually been using a shadow. I've been using a different color since I recorded this. That is really nice. But I start at the bottom. I draw a line through the back. I try to like keep it with the concealer just because, I don't know, I can get a more crisp like tail with the concealer. That's part of why I do that also. Um, and then I go over the top. I just kind of fill it in. I, I'll use a spoolie at the end sometimes. I like to use clear brow gel, but I don't really use a spoolie much. And then I'm actually taking the shade Killing Jar from that Monarch palette and filling in the center. I honestly didn't really like how my brows turned out that day. The, the front end of the brow just kind of got weird. Okay, here we go with the foundation. This Stila Stale Day foundation I used to really like actually before they put the concealer back. I've heard that the concealer was there and then they took it out and people were kind of annoyed. So they've brought the concealer back because it's a set that you can get and then you can replace the concealer for like 15 bucks. This is so hard to work with. You can't really see it that well, but it's like lifting. Like I have to put on so much product to get the coverage that I want. Um, and it's lifting with my beauty blender, which is why I end up going in with the brush again. Uh, yeah, I just have to work really hard with this. I don't really know what it'd be great for. Some people, maybe if you have more normal to even oily skin maybe my skin's been really dry because i've been using this like skin treatment that kind of dries my skin out and it just hasn't been working for me it looks okay at first but i also feel like it kind of like separates again that could be like primer i put oils in my face before i do my makeup just because my skin has been so dry and then we are going in with the abh contour cream kit in light sculpt i really like this one um I've used it for a long time. Honestly, I need a new one. And I'm also using the brush to blend this out just because of the foundation. Like, it's actually lifting so bad. Um, I would recommend if you like this foundation or you want to try this foundation, I'd recommend contouring underneath it. Honestly, it makes it a little bit easier. It makes it lift a little less because contouring was hard with this foundation. Um, I'm going back in with the concealer, which I have found happens a lot when I use this concealer or this foundation just because it does not give me as much coverage as I want. So if you want more natural coverage, it's like medium to full kind of coverage. Um, this could be great for you, honestly. Like I said, this shade range isn't great. Um, this being the lightest shade they have. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I like this powder a lot. I've actually switched from the 10 Light Fair to the 5, I think it's just fair, um, because the Light Fair had a little bit of a yellow tone to it, which was affecting my makeup a lot. I didn't like it, the color. It translates really well in photographs, but I, I like the brightening effect of the lighter one. And then I love that shade Killing Jar for contouring. It's just this really nice, like, cool tone that I feel like gives me a more realistic shadow than a lot of contour kits. Um, with that, I use this fluffy brush to blend out my nose. 
yeah. Use that to just blend everything out. I really like applying, you'll see it a lot with the shadow, but I really like applying color and then blending it out after, um, which of course doesn't work for all products. Some products you have to get really, uh, really fast with. You have to blend it out as you're putting it on. Um, <laughs> we're going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mannequin to prime the lid. I honestly just haven't repurchased an eye primer, so I found that lipstick worked really well, especially those. Also, the NYX Liquid Suede. I like those to prime the lid. You just pat it out. They're a little bit tacky, just enough that it doesn't create like patchiness in the shadows, but it also helps it last longer, and it adds color. It's really nice if you're trying to do something really dark or smoky. It can just you know, give you a layer of color that can intensify the shadow that you want to put on. This is the Master Palette by Mario. I'm going in with the shade Lula, I believe, is what's coming up. And that's, that's kind of a weird brush that I have. Um, I'll put it in the description box below. Um, but we just go in on the outer corner, and I like this brush because it's kind of strange in that the taper is uneven, so I can apply shadow almost into the crease and on on the lid if that makes any sense at all probably not and I take this clean brush and I just kind of blend it out because that's really the goal is just to like smoke out the shadow I want it to be very blended matte and just you know smooth I'm going in with a wanderer and we're just adding that in there blending it a ton and you can even still see like the mannequin under there and how it's just making it look like I've done a lot more than I have. This is only two shadows and a lipstick, which we're basically substituting for primer. Um, helps a lot. Yeah, we just go in. This is a weird brush that I honestly wouldn't recommend. I just kind of grabbed it because it was there. Um, I don't even know what brand it is. We're taking that darker shade and just going into the inner corner. Um... Yeah, and then up into the crease. And this is where you'll see what I was talking about, where you kind of just place the shadow and then you blend it out later because um, that looks insane. And then I take this slightly fluffier brush. It's a little softer also. That other one is really hard. Um, almost plasticky kind of bristles. This is nice. And then you just blend it out a ton. Honestly, this is sped up a lot. You want to take your time blending. That's number one would recommend um it makes it makes all the difference and some people are like why use like four shades of brown and you could just use one and smoke it out it's like you want to create depth and you'll just you'll just see a difference if you use several shades you stack them on top of each other and you really blend them together it creates like just depth and smoothness that you're not going to get from only one or two shades um, we're going back in with Mannequin for the lower lash line, just because what you do on top, you want to do on bottom. Um, there's a lot of ums in this. I'm really bad. Okay, so we just go in, and I don't know how to film, because I'm an idiot, and I covered my face so many times. Um, yeah, so I just kind of go in and fluff that in with that. That's a Sephora brand, it's just like smudger brush I believe and I just smudge that underneath I go pretty far in just because it is our base shade and it is a lot lighter once you blend it out they're opaque when you put them on as lipstick but when you blend them out they're a little lighter and then I just went in with all the same shades that I went in with on top and blended them on the bottom the lighter the shade the further in I go and then it creates like that gradient so like black I only bring in to like the corner I don't bring it pretty much past my, what's the word, iris, question mark, um, we don't bring it past there really, because the further down you go, it can kind of cut off your eyes in weird places and make them look strange, this is a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, I love this eyeliner, um, it's really good, this is actually a sample that I just got at, uh, Ulta, because, I don't know, I bought the foundation and I think it came with it um I've owned it before I really like the white one that's really good I've done some cute stuff with that and the black one is amazing obviously I really like felt tip liners 
they're nice for doing wings. I'm actually going to pretty soon here bring out the Galactic liner. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, I'm going into that and I'm actually tight lining with that same smudger brush. Um, I like doing this. You can set a gel liner. I just didn't. This can be a little dangerous with just a loose powder because you're going to get fallout. See, it's like in my eyeball, like just <laughs> powder. That's probably not safe. Um, yeah, so I just tight line and it makes your lashes look better really it makes it so once i put the false lashes on there isn't as much of a line it's less intense of a difference between the two let's see i'm like figuring out what on earth i'm gonna do next because i'm lost okay yeah and then i did my lashes off camera um my iphone success does not have that much memory <laughs> so i you know, deleted a bunch of pictures, put my eyelashes on using the Pure Pro lashes and Diva. I really like those. And then when we come back in, this is the MTJ, MJT. I, I literally just read it. I have no idea. MJT or MTJ High Definition Mascara. I like this mascara quite a bit. I feel like just because it's a little bit older, probably time to get rid of it soon. Um, it's getting a little bit more clumpy, so I'll go in with a thinner mascara and just give my lashes more definition okay i use like four highlighters um i don't i have no words i i can't tell you why but i have four of them i use two cu custom enhancer drops from cover effects moonlight and celestial which is here on the screen i use the jelly pong pong all over illuminizer i love that stuff i got it in a boxy term like forever ago and it's one of my favorite highlighters you do have to be careful it can lift some foundations but when i mix it together you can use it on the inner corner you can use it on the shoulders you can use it for all sorts of stuff i love that item um i'm taking this brush it's actually from the naked smoky palette it's just a really dense like pencil type of a brush and it's good for the inner corner corner the and then just, you know, highlighting the inner corner. I use the same combination of products on my nose, my cheeks, and maybe under the brow if I remembered. Sometimes I forget to do that step and it's always kind of sad when you forget to do that and you're like, that would have looked way better. Um, and I also go in with the Stila Putty Highlighter and Kitten. Again, a great highlighter. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. She's she's beautiful. And basically the only one in that holiday set that I use. Um, and I use that all the same places that I use those other three all mixed together. Just because she works best on top of other things. Like, to be honest, I feel like it doesn't last very long. Like, it looks beautiful. But a lot of people don't talk about how, like, it just never lasts. I feel like if I put that highlighter on, it's... I may as well have not have put it on by 8 o'clock that night. Then we're going to go in, since I'm satisfied with the highlight, with this lip scrub. Just because before I put on liquid, I put on lip scrubs. Did I put on... What did I... Normally I put on gloss. Normally I put on a lip plumper, actually, before I do a lot of liquid lips. I like that effect. I like the Dior lip maximizer and i really like the no thin lips i have no idea what brand it is but that's what it's called got it at sephora that one's painful the dior one is not um, and i just put that on let it chill for a little bit before i put my liquid lip on but this is mannequin again just because it ties into the eye look and it makes the most sense to put the same one on um which is another reason i like that trick just because if you're like man i really want to wear this lipstick what eyeshadow should i do you just put on your eyes and smoke it out and it you know makes something cute so yeah that's that and then i set my makeup and we're good to go i guess i could insert a photograph of what it looked like later but i think i just hang out here maybe i won't edit this voiceover and just give it to you guys like this that'd be funny yeah I actually slowed that bit down because I did it so fast in real life. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, 